Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Dung and Rope the Two Goodbye Despair. Two people sacrificed themselves so the rest of them could live life on the island peacefully. We're going to figure out what kind of mess they're about to get themselves into. Thank you all so much for 50,000 likes on the last video, 50,000 likes in this video, and I'll upload the next part as soon as I can. But no more talking. We're just going to get right into it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. After being released from the funhouse, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. They're not less than ordinary. It's a better life than mine. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. I meant more interesting, not more better. Does more better make any sense? Who cares? You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um, the restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were at the beginning. Stupid fool. Get it together. Oh my. Huh? Did you hear something? It's Nekumaru! That was Coach Nekumaru's voice! Huh? What are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? Hehehe! <laughs> I'll beat you up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that! <laughs> hey, hey! That's not cool! I was up all night working my fingers to the bone! I am concerned... More importantly, I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant! Jeez! Seriously, I'm starting to... What? I'm starting to realize how valuable Taro Taro was! Ah, don't ignore me! I'm trying to talk to you about something important! Huh? Important? All right. This! It took me all night to make it! My... That took you all night to make it? Is that a Nekumaru doll? No doll! I'm Minimaru! Okay, sometimes I don't know when to read the lines because sometimes there's voice acting, sometimes there's not. Huh? It drives me crazy! Minimaru! Woo! I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Are oh. you serious? Oh. Oh. Thanks. It's so cute. Thanks. I'll keep it. Well. Huh? I never said anything about giving it away. I'll you Don't up. be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Whoa. Whoa hey, now. That's a bully's logic. Man. Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm. And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're going to prevent something like that from ever happening again, I guess we got to fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. Huh. I got to admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um... In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? Uh, Miss Sonia? What did you think of my little pep talk? Oh my. Oh, did you say something? Oof. That's cold. Are you kidding That's me? cold. What? I was up all night memorizing that speech. Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Minimaru. Man. Gah, I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. You serious? Are you serious? That's amazing! Of course. Of course. I made it after all. Heh <laughs> <laughs> seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the friggin' time. Well. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey. Then that's even more reason we should avoid him. But still. But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nagito's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Now then. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? Hm. You know, what Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, uh, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Hey, bastard. What did he mean by, except for Hajime? Huh? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Um, to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Host Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all, and I'm basically just a little bitch. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh, what? That's it? Dude, 
Don't ever scare me like that! It's not something that I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Host Week Academy because I had talent all along. But shit! My whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting into Host Week Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some freaking backup student! Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course! She is right. No matter what, you are our friend. You know, there is a saying in Japan. Listen! Fear is grateful for the danger. What kind of saying is that? That's the most dog shit saying I've ever heard in my damn life! Hey! The hell? You're saying that all wrong! <laughs> <sighs> so everyone was here. It was a real close battle! I am sorry! I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me? Huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood! Hmm? Ah, you saw me? Yes, that's right. The mono beast this time was very strong. You? Gross, don't get close to me. Get out of here! Whoa. No gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, hey. Hey, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> yeah, get away from us. Your face is looking disgusting. Ah, uh, yes. I'm ashamed of myself. Wipe, 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 wipe. I don't know how to make a wiping sound effect. You want me to go like... There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last mono beast. The last mono beast? You mean there are no more beasts after this? Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. I see. What a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from an all you can eat restaurant. Um, don't tell me. This again? You're gonna say stuff like, It's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. Don't miss But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. Uh? Huh? So... Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. Because if we can't run, we'll that. fight. I'll crush everyone who put us through this crap in one blow. Hey, hey. Fight? Seriously? That fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Why, you? Did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey. Dumbass! I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonia! What? Don't brag about that! Settle down. Settle down! If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then direct that power toward our enemy. Right. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonia talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right, I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. To get Future Foundation, up. Monokuma, Monami, I'll crush them all at once. That's... Even me? <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. No shit, Chiaki. I mean, we're almost on the fifth trial. She talking like she don't know shit sweet around here. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. But the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with this strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. With the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. So this is the last island. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island were one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance right, fitting up the final is. island. Oh yeah, baby. Street stalls. What is this street meat type shit? Hey, Fuihiko, speaking of street meat, my favorite type is this. Oh, sweet. That was a Monokuma no. toy? Obtain hidden Monokuma. All right. When can I buy more coins? Can I still hang out with the crew? Can I hang out with the gang gang? I was wondering who was lured here by the smell. I expected Akani, though, not you. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. Anyway. Looks like this street is full of food vendors. But as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. I'm not gonna lie to you all. I thought Fuyuhiko would be one of the first to either die or get killed. 
I mean, not die or get killed. Holy crap. Die or kill. Normally, a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It's actually pretty creepy to think about. Yeah, there's nobody here to even, like, cook the food. How is it all being made? Do, 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 do. Yeah, when I first started this game, I thought Fuyuhiko would definitely be the first people to either kill someone or die. At least one of the first two trials. But he's actually one of my favorite characters after Nagito, believe it or not. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Ah, uh, Hajime, good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks sus, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks sus, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Mm. Mm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Yeah, why are you so scared? What's inside of here, huh? I mean, I don't like tall structures like that either. I always feel like it's going to fall on top of me. Maybe something happened to me as a kid where I just don't like really tall things because I feel like it's going to fall on my face. But I have like a big fear of that. What the heck is this? What was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Big ass Monokuma! Oh, okay. You want me to look at it? All right, let's 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 observe. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. Just wanted to give Hajime a little bit more emotion, you know? A little bit more feel. The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket, one after the other. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see. So these are plushies. Monokuma plushies? Ah, uh, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. Ha! <laughs> Isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies! Life-size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. Ha ha ha! I'm gonna be rich! But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. I don't want it. Yeah, if they were like little Nagito mm. plushies, I'll take them all. Mm, I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Yeah. Don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I don't really feel like going. But still. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you going to do? You're right. Then we should go there just for a little while. Yeah, just a little while, though. If we stay longer than three minutes, though, it's going to make me... <laughs> but yeah, I really feel like Nagito saw some shit in those files about Hajime, and he's kind of threatened by him. That's why he's acting real sus about it. Without thinking, I peeked into the piled-up stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First, there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse. Now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. Alright, Chalky. I mean, Chalky? Did I call her Chalky? It's like I can tell just from the ambience that there are no important clues here. Well, at least we confirmed that. I might as well investigate here, too. So that means there is an important clue. Ooh, what the? Instead of looking around, I'm going side to side doing the cha-cha. Okay. Yeah, I did not mean to call her Chalky. Chalky is that one person from Dove. There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Anakuma's poetry collection? How stupid. Who the hell is going to read this crap? Not me, I don't even know how to read. Hey, hey. There's another book here too. Let's see. Monokuma's Most Precious Moments. See? That's the actual title of this book, but it's a collect of nude photos. Monokuma's already naked. <laughs> Not if you pull the fur back. You know, yep. you're gonna see some shit if you pull the fur back. I know. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them all BOOM! Then they'd stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. Of course not, you're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. I 
can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Enough already! You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! No! Hey, no. hey, don't say that! Let's do our best together! We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s! Hey, hey. Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. Because there's no merch of me. Actually, that's the only thing he did right with his business my thing. Oh, Monami, my little sister. Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Not a tortoise? Hey, a long, um... long time ago, there were these two old guys. Jeez. Two old guys living together? She... The old guys thought, Rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Huh? Did you even need the old guys in that story? In other words. So even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You, you did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. Oh, he's gonna beat that up like December meat after No Nut November. All right, cool, cool, cool. Way of snapping back. Yeah, that's where Mona Me belongs. Belongs in the trash. But honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special so whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here. Come on, what are you waiting for? Hajime, let's run. You're right. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah! We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. Where is Nagito anyway? He's actually on my mind. Like, I want to know what he's thinking right now. It's like, you just got tired. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Military base? What in the world is this game, dude? This island is so big, look, a helicopter! Why don't we just go in there and fly on out of here? Huh? That thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. You know what this reminds me of? This whole island reminds me of Hunger Games. Where there's like a force field bubble shit. So like even if they go inside the helicopter, they can't actually leave because something is preventing them from leaving. This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank no problemo. No problemo? Um, a course in modern warfare is a required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with anime and now this? Sonia's country never ceases to baffle me. However, however weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. That's true. That's big facts. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. Please wait. No, that is wrong. Huh? Um. Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. That's the Future Foundation's insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What is this? However... I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Um, Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at a considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in this? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is really clean. Could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um, I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well, However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? No, not really. It was written there that the central island houses a large administrative building. 
However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? Did I just read that in Sonia's voice? I think Hajime said that and I just read that in Sonia's voice. My mind is going cuckoo. But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters, could it be that same building? They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it! What the hell is going on? We were so distracted by all of the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other, we might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Okay, I'm actually very confused about what Sonya and Hajime just said. Like, I'm actually very confused. I have no idea any of that stuff that just happened. Man, this place is so boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here! You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. A real man fights with his fist! Huh. That goes for women, too. Right. You wanna battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. No thanks. Boob pillows? Yeah, Hajime thinking about the boob pillows. He's like, you know what? Actually, I never rested on anybody's boob pillows before. Maybe think of Kui is a little bit. But other than that, shit, you know what I'm saying? Let you beat me up a little if I get some boob pillows. Sea King Industries. What the heck? Bro, I know I was going deep, deep. Hey, Kazuichi. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Sea King Industries. Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electrical insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh, I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? Monobeast? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. All right, you got it, dude. There's somebody down there working, working hard. The automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Who is that, though? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? Seriously? How can they make robots? <gasps> hey, just how far did technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekumaru was made here? That was cool. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too? I don't know. This is so weird. That kind of looks like Sonya a little bit. There's a Monokuma plushie right here. Give me some of that, baby. All right, let's check this big-ass Mono Beast right here. This machine is making another machine? The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey, doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the Mono Beast? Maybe. Is there any chance that those Mono Beasts were created here? The Mono Beasts were created here? Why does Hajime do that all the time? Sometimes I just, uh, just want to choke Hajime! He answers the person's question by asking the same question that the person was asking. Fine, fine. Yup, that's what this place is for! No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye-bye! That's why it's just fine. There's something wrong What with the you. hell did he mean by that? It wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn it. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I don't even know what's happening anymore. I'm glad that they don't even understand what's happening because I definitely for damn sure. Hey, Hajime, I was looking for you. What's up, Fuyuhiko? Well, I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right. I think I've explored everywhere, at least for once now. Damn right. Then do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuihiko left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over to the street with the food stands. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Huh? Huh? What about Nagito? Huh? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. 
I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So how'd it go? Did you learn anything about the future foundation? Hmm, not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However, However, I believe there is no question that the future foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Well, are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they'd trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey. Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monomi has been opposing him. Huh? You mean, pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> then, it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait! Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? Starting to get like a three-way battle. That's kinda hot. Hey. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa. Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn it. Don't be a freaking idiot! I won't be- No fooled. way! You're clearly sus! I mean, if you don't- down. Kazuichi Soda, shut up! <laughs> yes! Listen. There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh my. Lied? Well? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be sus of each other. You went to How pool. can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? <sighs> weak. How weak. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man. My guy. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito? Alright, we're gonna talk to our Nagiwagi. Things have just gotten better. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling you dropped out? That is... What is that? Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us? Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Huh? Huh? How about it? If so... A lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Biakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. <sighs> what stage? You're not making sense at all! Not making sense! Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Biakuya, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is the issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Biakuya dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is true. Aw, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually, To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. What? You're gonna weed out the traitor? As I've already said, there is no traitor. Heh, <laughs> I'll bet in the end, you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I? This is exciting! Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You... What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. Now then. I should get going, but if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? 
<laughs> Tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Could it be? Nagito, what does that mean? Bye now. Bye. Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding A kill? Me? Who? Who's he going to kill? Damn it. Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. There is no such person. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never, ever believe that. Like Sonya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent. Uh, well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? That's right. Then we gotta tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is the only way. Oh. It's impossible. Nekumaro's not even here anymore. Heh, <laughs> I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too. I'm here too. Huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island and return to the hotel. I can't believe it's the final island. That really means that this is going to be the final trial. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. All right, well, before we go to sleep, is there any way that Nagiwagi is out here? I truly doubt it. You know what? I'm not even going to do it. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to talk to him unless... Unless, let me knock on that door. This is Nagito's cottage. What are you really thinking, Nagito? What are you planning to do? Aw, oh, man, that's it! I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to the restaurant. Really? Why can't I just have some free time? I want to get to know my classmates, what's left of them, before the final kill, before the final trial. Hey, Chiaki? Hey, Chiaki? I wasn't sleeping. Yes, you were. Totally. I was sleeping. I was playing a game. You were sleeping while you were playing a game? There's always time for gaming. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you look more tired than usual. Um, Last night, I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night. So maybe that's why. A weird dream? Well? It was a Monokuma puzzle game. It was like one of those tile falling games where you make falling Monokumas disappear by creating a chain. Mm. But no matter how much I played, I just couldn't beat it and the Monokumas just fell endlessly. Why did I have a dream like that? It's probably because we saw that factory where those Monokuma goods are made. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you just being really weird. Yo, Hajime, check it out, I'm already eating. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked in a place like that fun house again. So I gotta eat while I can. Eat well, shit well. <laughs> eat well, shit well. <laughs> For now. Okay, now that we've finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Um, hey, I'm still um, in here. I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. It's okay, I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little... You know... Right? And of course, the main topic is about... Our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be... Are you really gonna do it? Of course, I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. Well, I thought of several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straightforward plan would be the best. Uh, One of us will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. Alright! So that's the plan, what do you think? I just don't understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? You... So now, I will present each of you with your role. Of course. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Let me guess, Hajime is going to be the guy that lures Nagito to the lobby, right? Hey, hey. But commander sounds like the most fun. Hey. Hey, did I just say I won't let anyone object? Right. Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two, Fuyihiko and Akane. Um, no. Yup, sure um, thing. Jeez, you got no better. choice. You know, and right? the person burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to lure Nagito. Let me guess. Drum roll, please. 
I'll give that roll to... Oh, Chiaki Nanami. Whoa, shut my ass up no quick. Way. Huh? No way. <laughs> what did you say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey. It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up. You're just gonna lure him. That's actually a surprise. I really thought he was gonna say Hajime. Well... Besides, there's no way I'd ask Miss Sonya to take on such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If Mahiru was here, she would have beaten you up. You... I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey. And didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Fine. All right. You're gonna do it? All right, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonya and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonya has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're on chore duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Denied! Whoa. What? Why? Listen. If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Miss Sonya? No, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must this not. is not a request. This is an order. That is an an order. order, I tell you. There is somewhere I must go. Uh, fine. If Hajime and Miss Sonya are free, it's fine. Good. Repeat that. Damn it. If Hajime and Miss Sonya are free, it's fine. Bitch boy! To object so forcefully, where do you need to go, Sonya? Um, I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What You're gonna you be alone with Hajime? Had a secret place? Haha. <sighs> For now, Damn it. we'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. God, can a man eat first? After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. I wonder what kind of breakfast Hajime likes. Maybe a good old Eggs Benedict or something. Actually, he seems like a French toast kind of guy. He seems kind of bougie. Like, he won't just get a bowl of cereal. I feel like he really takes his time and figures out what he's going to eat for breakfast. Hey, Akane, I'm not going to talk to you. Definitely not talking to you, Kazuichi. You talk way too damn much. Hajime, you are late. Girl, I literally just got from the cottage all the way here. Straight from the cottage to here. What you mean late? Huh? I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier in my country you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time for such an orderly country 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule that is... oh I see this is culture shock then I guess that can be overlooked so where are you planning to go I just have to come along right well of course it is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday Jabberwock Island development plan did you find out something about it um... how should I say this after reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. You're talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island? You, you have a or what if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? I'm telling you, Hajime answers the question by asking the same question that the person just said. Well? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? Hajime and Makoto gotta be bros, man. They gotta be bros, bros. Oh my god, Taka Amando. <laughs> Those are my real bros, dog. As I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island has such a symbol on its door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the Future Foundation, right? Future! The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I completely forgot about it after being locked inside the funhouse, but... The possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the Future Foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonia, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then, I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. However... Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. Alright, let's start. Okay, we're finally gonna get into this bad boy? How are we gonna break it open? Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, the door looks even stranger. For a building that looks pretty run down and shabby, this door looks very high tech. 
future, huh? I mean, future! Okay, fine, damn! Okay, let's look at the panel. This liquid crystal display next to the door. Oh god, definitely don't know this password. That's probably it. This is probably the key. This door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Please wait. We have discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it is possible that we will be- dunk, 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 dunk. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That is right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot at by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than a Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest? In my country, we use the expression Beatrice's nest. Well, your country is weird! Anyway, right now, we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. In order to open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Nah, that's impossible. This door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find out the password instead. Alright, all we have to do next is find out what that password is. It's a good thing we came here, so we could at least find that out. You are right. But the problem is, where would we obtain that password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monomi said they didn't know the password. If they really don't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? What about that pamphlet that we have? The one that was found inside of the helicopter. After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Soenya and I decided to go back to our cottage for now. Oh, really? Okay, well, now is Nagito plan A, right? It's still the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. Now then, what should I do? I wish I could hang out with Nagito. I've been trying to get to know him better, which sucks for me because I haven't gotten to know anybody else and I really don't care to. But let's see if we can. Let me go see if I can find Nagito on this island real quick. All right, so our main man Nagito is right here by the military base. If I can't hang out with him, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm happy you're asking someone like me, but I have other things I need to do. So don't worry about me. Have fun spending time with the others. I HATE YOU! Looks like it's starting to get dark. Ding dong, no bing bong. The doorbell, is someone here? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably someone like Sonya or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it, I mean, so much has happened since we arrived at this island. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened my cottage door. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito? Why? Why is he here? Uh-oh, this is awkward! <laughs> you, what are you doing here? <laughs> you sure ask weird questions. That's not it. I mean, you guys all have business with me, right? Huh? Well... Chiaki invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? He's already found out about our plan. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? <laughs> but it's good timing. I have some business with you guys, too. You do? If everyone's already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. And I want you to come to the lobby, too, even though you're not directly involved with the plan. You even know that. I see. Just as I thought. You were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right? Since you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. Now, now. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. So You shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Oh well. Anyway, let's hurry over to the lobby. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you guys are gonna do to me. <laughs> when we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together. So let's go already. Fine, let's go. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. Yeah, let's hurry up and head to the lobby. Oh, and bring that rope too, Hajime, because I want you to tie me up. Make sure it's nice and tight so my blood flows and not just to the lower half of my body. If Chiaki has summoned Nagito, then the plan has already started. Fuihiko and Akane should be waiting inside for Nagito. Jeez. What happened, Hajime? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're a terrible actor. Oh well, if you're gonna slow down like that, I'll go inside first. What a guy, going inside first. A true gentleman. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. 
Uh oh. This right. is awkward. I got him. Um, what are you doing? Don't judge us for this. But we're gonna tie you up. <laughs> He's like, again? <laughs> tie me up. There's no use struggling. But I'm not struggling. Huh? What, what the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. I think he likes it. He gets off to this. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin. The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island. And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. Whoa! The air shook. An explosion of darkness overtook me, and I was unable to see anything. What the hell? I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. What the hell? What's going on? Are the words that left my mouth, but they vanished before they ever reached my ears. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. Nagito? Bro, oh my guy! He's so freaking evil! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's amazing! These amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end! It's over. This is the end. The killings are done for good. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice. While fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now! And to do that... I will destroy Jabberwock Island! Hell yeah! What do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. Do it. Destroy Jabberwock Island, the Nagito. I'm right behind I'm you. The use is nearly as weak. Actual? Bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode, the force will be enough to wipe out this entire island! Wait, what the hell are you saying? If you do that, of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed. But there's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Nagito, please stop! Uh, are you crazy or something? No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... Is who? My, my, this guy. I'm totally shocked. Seriously, I'm totally shocked. That's all I can say about this turn of events. The bombs I set are timed. They're set to go off in two days at noon. I prepared so many powerful bombs that the one that just exploded doesn't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up an entire island. Which means in two days at noon, this island is destined to sink into the sea! Are you serious? Wow. Do you really think I'd go this far for a joke? Yeah. Where... where did you set them up? Mmm, <laughs> I can't tell you. How about it? It'd be easy to leave you on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. So how about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity to me, I'll tell them where I hit the bombs. Huh? <laughs> Oh, what in the world is going on? Is everyone all right? Hey. Come on, come uh -huh. on, don't get in the way. Nagito was in the middle of weeding out the traitor. Uh. Nagito, what are you planning to do? Do I really have to say it? It's no use. I mean, the traitor shouldn't be able to reveal their identity on their own. Why? Hmm? What does that mean? Do I really have to say it? My, my, you guys are totally eyeing each other and letting sparks fly. I'm getting all hot and bothered. Don't just stand there. Why don't you stop him? Huh? Stop him? Why do I have to stop him? The rules, remember? The same blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. If he blows up the entire island, that's gonna kill way more than just two people. I see. You sure have good memory. Like you said, if any student breaks that rule, I have to punish them severely. Right? But that's only when someone breaks that rule, right? You can't punish someone for breaking a rule before they've been broken, right? 
That's right. Yep, saying you're gonna break the rules isn't against the rules. Too bad. So right now, there's no way I can punish this. What the hell? You're so Punishment always stupid. happens afterward, not before. That's just the rules of society, right? Hey. But even so, there's no need to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. This is exciting! It'll all be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all the time we've spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck! So it's definitely gonna be alright. After he said that, Nagito walked away. He just walked away. I couldn't even stop him. I felt afraid of Nagito. The madness emanating from Nagito's body was seeping into my bones. I never expected him to go this far. <laughs> Nagito is so reliable. I don't have to do anything because he's shaking things up. <sighs> that bastard. I'll never forgive him. Damn it. Damn it. Is he freaking serious about those bombs? Hey, hey. As long as the traitor comes forward, he'll say where the bombs are, right? Is that his goal? Damn it. Then I'm begging you guys. It doesn't matter who does it. Someone just has to come forward. Hey, I'm begging you guys. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. I really wonder who it is. What Nagito said yesterday. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it cost me my life. I finally understand what he meant. Nagito took this entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. That is Nagito's goal. But what is he planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Is he really gonna blow up the entire island? Nah, it's a big bag of cap. If he blows up the entire island before the traitor comes forward, then he's never gonna know who the traitor is, so it's a big bag of cap! You know, I actually thought that Gundam was the traitor, but Gundam just got executed, so that threw my whole theory out the window. Maybe the traitor is one of his hamsters, I don't know. I've been resting since the explosion yesterday, but my body still hurts. A dull, metallic sound is ringing in my ears, and the back of my head feels hot. I can't think straight, but I can't afford to spend the whole day resting. I immediately left my cottage. But wait, what about his hamsters, though? I just remember that. I was thinking about what happened to Gundam's hamsters, and they are nowhere to be found after Gundam got executed. I guess they're like, all right, well, let's just go home. Then they started swimming off the island back to civilization or something. Like, I gotta know what happened to the hamsters. Uh, who am I gonna talk to? Do I have to talk to somebody, or do I just meet inside of the restaurant? Just get my French toast on, my eggs Benedict on. Oh, they're all here, never mind. Yo. Yo, Hajime, how you feeling? Not good, but not so bad that I can't move. Huh. Then you're okay. This is bad. I'm not okay at all. My ears are seriously ringing. Damn it. My eardrum is definitely ruptured. I need to hurry and have a doctor look at it. Mm. So what should we do now? However... What can we do? Mm. How troubling. If the traitor would just come forward, this problem would be resolved in no time. I like how he just popped up out of nowhere. I love this guy so much. Nagito, when did you... Hey, good morning. I came to motivate you guys since you're just laying around. Didn't I tell you yesterday that the bombs are set to go off in two days at noon? Well, you've got one day left. Come on, you better hurry. I mean... Hurry? I'm not the one who has to come forward. The traitor does, right? Well, well, that's probably true. But even if this does depend on the traitor, your attitudes aren't admirable at all. Isn't that right? I mean, real hope is when you confront a hopeless difficulty that's standing before you, right? And despite that... You guys are already ready to give up. What does that mean? Or is this your limit? If so, it makes me laugh to think I ever called you symbols of hope. You bastard. You better knock it off. Now, now. Now, now. Keep your shirt on. I took the time to come bring you guys a valuable hint. Wouldn't it be bad if I changed my mind? Huh? Did he just say hint? Yeah, I like hints. Tell us those hints, Nagito. Nagito, what's your hint? I'm glad. Oh, you finally have hope? That makes me happy. Hey! Who freaking cares about that? Hurry up and tell us what the hint is. Well... Well, it's about the bomb's hiding place. I hid it somewhere you guys haven't been before. Huh? Somewhere we haven't been before? Piss I don't need off. any hints. Just out. tell us the answer. If you don't, I'll make you spit it out. Hey, 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 Stop hey, it! Hey, hey. What are we gonna do if he sets up another bomb? Yep. Good judgment. Hey, if you guys have time to pick a fight with me, then you should start searching for the bombs already. Then I'll just crush you to pieces later! Wow. 
How scary. Hey, why did you give us a hint? See? Well, if the trader sees their friends working hard, they may feel inclined to come forward, you know? Who cares? You... The trader might not even exist. All we need to do is find the damn bombs. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Take care. I... Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here. So if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. Right. Mr. or Miss Trader? We left the restaurant as Nagito's muffled laughter trailed behind us. Kazuichi, why did you stop me? Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <sighs> if you hadn't stopped me, I could have crushed Nagito to pieces. Bastard! You're too fired up, dumbass! Come the hell down, at least! Everyone! More importantly, let us all head over to the ancient ruin. Hmm. Huh? The ruin? Please listen! Nagito said that the bombs are hidden somewhere we haven't been before. Yeah, I was actually thinking about the so ruin just too. As I thought. If that is the case, the inside of that ruin is the only place I can think of. But if that's the case, that means Nagito knows the password to get inside the ruin. No, there was one other place too. What is it again? The castle at the amusement park? What's its name? Huh? Are you talking about the Natsume Castle? Hey, hey, hey! You don't get it at all! He freaking means Nezumi Castle! Then we have those two places to choose from. But we won't be able to enter the ancient ruin without a password. What should we do? Like... A password, huh? I'm guessing we still don't have any clues to that? Hey, hey! And that probably goes for Nagito, too. He wouldn't be able to enter without the password either, right? If that's the case, it's hard to think that the bombs were set inside the ancient ruin, right? So, we should try going to Nezumi Castle first. Are we screwed? But, isn't that dangerous? I mean, what if that was Nagito's trap all along? Jeez. Monokuma's trap, Monomi's trap, and now Nagito's trap. Dumbass. If we keep worrying about shit like that, we won't get anything done, dumbass. You. You're totally fired up too. Yeah. Hey. Anyway, we should try going there at least. We don't have time to stand around doing nothing. All right. All right full speed ahead. All right, we'll tackle Nezumi Castle first. Okay, well, let's make our way to Nezumi Castle. But how can you not love Nagito? How can you not love a good Nagiwagi? Because he obviously does these things because he wants the outcome to be good for everybody else. He's not doing it to be a dick. I mean, the way he's going about it probably isn't the best way. But I mean, he means well. I mean, it might be hood things, but he's just trying to do good things. Let's go inside Nezumi Castle. So that's why I like him. He's a bad bitch. He's a bad bitch, but he's our bad bitch. Hey, check it out. Oh, there's a big-ass hole there. Okay, so that's probably where the bombs are. The entrance is destroyed. It's been blown to bits as if someone set off a bomb. You think? I get it. That's true. Looks like this place was spot on. D damn it! And the bombs are inside here. Damn right. That's what it looks like. Um... Then let's try going inside. But we need to be careful. We need to pay as much attention as we can. You're right. All right, well, let's make our way inside. I'll go first. Then let's go. Since I'm the reserve student, I guess I'll be the meat shield. After forcing a dry swallow, I nervously stepped through the door. And there was a big-ass mother-sucking bomb, baby. Wait, there's no bomb here. Just a bunch of nut dust floating up to the sky. What is this place? I thought the inside would look more lighthearted than this. Um... The ambience feels similar to that of a temple or a church. However... Is it just me, or does it seem like there are no bombs to be found here? Well... No, it's not just you. Hmm. If the bombs are strong enough to blow up the entire island, they should be pretty big. But I don't see anything. I don't see a place where they could be hidden either. Huh? Then, the bombs aren't here? The bombs aren't here. But even so, I feel like there's something sus here. But why? It feels like this place is different somehow. This feeling... It's the same feeling I felt when I first saw the ancient ruin. Well, maybe this place is connected to the ancient ruin. Let's look at the floor. Hmm? What is this? This font doesn't match the ambience of the castle at all. It's almost like it was intentionally put here. Hey, everyone, come check this out. It says, to all subjects, the password to guide everyone to the future is... And then it's scratched out. So that's got to be the password to the ancient ruin. Huh? Huh? What's that? To all subjects. Subjects? Who are they talking about? Is it about us? There's more written below that. What does it mean? The password to guide everyone to the future is... Lies. What the heck is this? We can't even read the most important part. Lies. What does the password to guide everyone to the future even mean? Ah, maybe it's that password. Duh. Could it be? Could it be the password to access that ancient ruin? Guide everyone to the future. Maybe that refers to the Japanese word that is written on the door? 
As expected of Miss Sonia, she only had to read it once to understand what it means. Like... But if we can't read the password, there's nothing we can do. Is... It is a rather tragic moment. Hey, hey. I wonder who erased this. Huh? Erased? No shit, Hajime. Sonia. Obviously, it looks scratched out. I mean, it doesn't feel like it was erased naturally, right? It looks like it was forcibly scratched off. That's the only way I can see it. Even so. But Monomi and Monokuma shouldn't have entered this castle because they don't like mice, right? I won't forget then it was Nagito. He's the one who erased the password. Perhaps. Nagito probably discovered the password here and used it to enter the ancient ruin. Then he hid the bombs inside the ancient ruin? So he erased the password so he wouldn't be able to get near the bombs. Damn it! That actually makes a lot of sense! If that's true, he gave us a hint even though he knew we wouldn't be able to use it. Don't what a smart me. guy. What a guy Nagito is! Just so he could shove that reality in our faces? There's no way we can enter that ancient ruin if we don't know the password! In the end, we can't do anything about the bombs unless the traitor comes forward. Did he lure us to this place so we'd be forced to confront that? Forcing us to confront the despair before us? Forcing us to confront how powerless we are? Damn it! That's what Monokuma would do! Hey, um, whoever you are, you don't have to reveal yourself to us. Just tell Nagito. If you don't, you'll just end up dying too, you know? Yeah. Hey, who are you saying that to? <sighs> I don't know. I'm just saying it to everyone. Oh. Let's stop. Fighting among ourselves won't help anything. More importantly, let's work harder to find the password to that ancient ruin or clues that might relate to it. Hey. As long as we cooperate and explore all over the island, we might be able to find it, you know? Are you telling us to look everywhere for a password that might not even exist? Hey. Who would leave a password here in the first place and why? If it wasn't Monokuma or Monomi, then who was it? We can't even answer that, so there's no way we'll be able to find anything. Please, please. Then what would you have us do? Just wait until we all die? That is no different than when we were in the funhouse. And what did we learn there? We learned not to give up on living, right? Hmm. That Gundam was the only one who said that. Very well then, I shall look for it on my own. Excuse me! Sonia, hold on! But Sonia ignored me as I called for her and stormed out of the area. Her shoulders were shaking a little, I'm sure of it. I mean... What the heck? Shut up! Damn Shut it, up. fine then! You want to look for it? Well, fine! Hey! Kazuichi left Nezumi Castle and walked in the opposite direction of Sonia. What the hell are they doing? Now's not the time for infighting. Like... Well, it might be a good idea to work separately. Huh? Why? I mean, it's easier to move around that way, you know, in case someone wanted to secretly go meet someone. Hey, does that mean... Sorry, sorry. Just act like I was thinking out loud and pretend you weren't listening. Damn it. Not again. Man, we're scattered as usual. Stupid fool. If you think so, then please help. Huh. Yeah, leave it to me. I've got a secret plan. I, I just have to you. find the source of the problem and snap it off. Akane? What? What's your secret plan? Could it be? I have a bad feeling about the way Akane is acting. I'll run after her. It's best if we keep Akane away from Nagito for now. Far away. You're right. I guess I'll leave it to you. Yep. Okay, see you later. Chiaki ran after Akane. And from there, I was the only one left. What does this really mean? Who are the subjects that are being referred to? What's the password to guide everyone to the future? Maybe the ancient ruin is a way to escape this island. And the password was obviously meant for the people on this island, like Hajime and the rest of the gang. I was the last to leave Nazumi Castle, and I wandered all over the island searching for clues to the password. But I didn't expect to find anything, and in the end, that's exactly what happened. And so, time passed by with its usual speed. Ding dong bing bong baby. Okay, I'm pretty sure that he's just telling us that we gotta get our asses inside or he's gonna spank us with the belt. Even after the announcement, I kept searching the island, but I didn't find what we were looking for. After a while, I had forgotten what I was supposed to be looking for in the first place. Are you kidding me, dude? Do you have the attention span of a goldfish? In the end, after coming up empty-handed, I returned to the hotel. I didn't see anyone else on my way back here, but I also didn't see them while I was exploring either. That's because, even though this island is so vast, our numbers have drastically decreased since we arrived. I can't think of any other reason than that. I should go back. Yeah. Unless... Nagito killed everybody. Nagito said time runs out at noon tomorrow. Another day is about to end. Which means there's only a half a day left. I can't imagine the traitor will be revealed by then, since we don't even know if they really exist. 
and even if they do, it's possible they've forgotten that they're the traitor. All this thinking makes me feel like I should do something, but my brain and body were yearning for rest, probably because all of the walking I did today. As I dozed off, horrible, disgusting images began to surface from the back of my mind, one after the other. But before I could focus on the specifics of those images, I slowly sank into the depths of darkness. The scenery this morning is the same as it ever was. I can see the sunlight peeking through the window. I can hear the faint sound of waves crashing on the beach. But the bombs Nagito set are going to destroy all this, once time runs out at noon. At the moment, there's nothing about our situation that's changing for the better. Usually I'd go to the restaurant, but what should I do today? As long as I remember what Nagito said. Oh, by the way, I'll be waiting here. So if you want to reveal yourself, come see me anytime. Mr. or Miss Trader? It sounds like he was planning to hang out at the restaurant all day. Wait a minute, he's gonna be there all day? Then, if anyone went to the restaurant like they normally do, the bad feeling lingering in my chest grew with each beat of my frantic heart. I immediately ran out of my cottage. Why don't you just go, Hajime, since you're the reserve student, and just say that you're the traitor. Just be like, hey, Nagito, it's me, man. I have no ultimate talent, so I just decided that I'm gonna be the ultimate traitor. What are you gonna do to me? Gonna spank me, huh? Gonna give me 40 lashes? Gonna give me a good licking? Like, that's all you gotta do, Hajime. Just be the ultimate sacrifice. The moment I set foot inside the restaurant, the worst case scenario was unfolding before me. Oh, shit! Playtime's over! Now! Where'd you hide the bombs? That hurts, but I'll never tell. <laughs> if you really want he's me so to spit calm it out, he's getting choked out. You should try torturing me or something. Huh? Torture? Maybe you can stab my fingers with that fork over there. Or scoop my eyes out with that spoon. Jesus Christ! If you're not willing to fill me with despair, there's no way my hope will ever burn. Oh! oh. Akane's hand suddenly wrapped around Nagato's neck, and his face began turning a startling shade of red. Come on with me! Just die already! Her clenched hands kept squeezing, even tighter, as if she was trying to snap his neck instead of just strangling him. Hey, hey. What are you doing? Ah. Akane? This is bad. Hey, are you alright? Isn't he seriously gonna die? But she was too overcome by rage to acknowledge us. Huh? Oh, okay. Damn. Calm I kinda got down. bitch slapped by Chiaki. Okay? You wouldn't do something like that, right? You're not the kind of person who would hurt someone, right? See, it's alright. Yep. No problem. Akane's so shocked that she got bitch slapped. Sorry. I'm awake now. That's weird. What was I doing anyway? Hey, hey! That's what I wanna ask! Don't tell me you were actually thinking about killing him! And that's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, I saw him slowly stand up. Thanks. Thank you, Akane. I got to see my dead dog again. I haven't seen him in ages. Aww. Huh? Serves you right. You probably pissed off Akane in the first place. Wow. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that, though. Anyway, thank you for saving me. Looks like I owe you one. Then? If you sincerely mean that, please tell us the password to enter the ancient ruin. Huh? The password to that ancient ruin? What are you going to do with that? Don't play you. dumb. You've hidden the bombs inside that ruin, right? You're right. Yep, I did. <laughs> until yesterday. Hey, Nagito, what did you mean by until yesterday? Well, there wasn't anything important inside the ancient ruin. Just some familiar scenery. Familiar scenery? Jeez. I got bored of it. Also, if I hid them in there, it would be completely meaningless. <sighs> so even if you had managed to learn the password to the ancient ruin, it has no meaning anymore. Now that I have moved the bombs somewhere else, Hey, hey. But they were inside that ancient ruin, right? I'm glad. Anyway, I guess it was right for me to move them. They were about to be found before the traitor confessed. Well... Well, it's not like it really matters. In fact, that might be better. Amazing. To make hope shine even brighter. Bastard! Stop talking crazy and tell us where you moved the bombs already! <laughs> Looks like you're in a hurry. Well, that's understandable. After all, time runs out today. Hey. Then let's begin the final battle. The final battle between the traitor and everyone else. <laughs> the final battle between hope and despair. The place I hit the bombs this time is a place you've all visited at least once. Hey, hey, hey. That's it? That's too broad. See? It shouldn't be that hard if you guys split up. For now, why don't you guys search everywhere as fast as you can? 
As long as everyone cooperates, it should be easy to find out where the bombs are. What the heck? This is exciting! It's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute <laughs> hope that can break through any despair can never lose in a place like this. I... And not only that, I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. <laughs> and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's gonna be fine. As long as you believe in hope with all your hearts, that path should open. With that, Nagito walked away and left us with his sinister mixed message. Damn it. Damn it. Why does he still have to be alive? Dumbass. Now's not the time to complain about stuff like that. Oh. Besides, we don't have time to fight among ourselves. You are right. You are right. We must hurry and search for the bombs. We should still have time to stop them. I mean... But based on all the places we searched, I don't know where we should look. Shut the hell up! The only thing we can do is split up and cover as much ground as we can. There are exactly six of us. Each person should be in charge of searching an island. Damn it. Then leave this island to me. I already have the layout of this island in my head. If Akane has the first island, then I'll do the second one. <laughs> Miss Sonya should get the smallest island. Are you okay with searching the central island? Huh? Huh? But... Anyway... You're probably not good at covering ground anyway, right? It's fine, you can search the central island. Chiaki, you search the third island with the hospital. Hajime, you search the amusement park island. And I'll handle the final island. Alright, then let's do it. Let's hurry up and find those bombs so we can take care of Nagito once and for all. We stormed out of the restaurant and immediately left to search for the bombs. We didn't have time to even think about who the traitor is. But it's ironic. Nagito is the reason we're all splitting up, but the reason we're all cooperating is because of Nagito too. It's pretty damn ironic. I'm telling you, Nagito is doing things for good reason. I'm in charge of searching the fourth island. I should search every nook and cranny. According to Nagito, the bombs have enough power to easily wipe out this entire island. Then it's probably not very small. I'll definitely find it. Alright everybody, I think I'm gonna end this episode of Danganronpa here only because I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice. I do want to find the bomb right now and continue this episode, but I think my voice is gonna give out before we find the bomb. So, hopefully you guys want to see the next episode ASAP. If you do, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>